Tell me about uh, Cristiano Ronaldo's reaction when you made him captain for the first time and your thinking behind it. Well, obviously with uh, schools, gigs, Ferdinand all unavailable, and Gary Neville, of course, uh, we're whittling ourselves down to who is available. And, and it truly is, is, is a fantastic player. He's 23 years of age. You can see the maturity in the lad. I think he's, he's crying out for this responsibility. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Go on, Ray, you've worn that armband. How proud will he be tonight, Ronaldo? Oh, very proud. I think for a foreign player, Richard, as well. He, he, you know, he, he plays and he, he must train as, uh, as a superstar, this young man, because his, his level of performance is just quite outstanding. And he will be absolutely honoured, I'm sure, uh, to be wearing that armband, especially when you've got Vidic in there, you've got Owen Hargreaves, as Jamie just mentioned. Uh, all all would, would have loved to have done it, but this young man's been given it, and I'm, I'm sure he'll relish the fact. Making headlines this morning, Jamie. So Alex Ferguson, not so keen to talk about it now, um, but he's placed the thought, of course, into the minds of those. Games to go then for two teams chasing very different targets. United in the frame for their 10th Premier League title, while the name of the game for Bolton is simply survival. A massive match for both clubs, and while most people will be expecting a home win, remember Bolton did beat United at the Reebok earlier in the season. And Gary Megson has demanded a reaction from his players tonight after saying they let down themselves and their supporters in Sunday's defeat at Wigan in a performance that he called unacceptable. Well, it was unacceptable because of what he did in the midweek. Taking quite a bit of flat, Gary, for picking a very weak side against Sporting Lisbon. Just because he wanted to display at the... And that is now well and truly upon us. Every point is vital. Well, Cristiano Ronaldo is on the verge of matching a United legend. If he scores tonight, Ronaldo will equal the total of 32 goals in the season, scored by the one and only George Best some 40 years ago. An incredible achievement for a player whose official position is mid-hand on Arsenal and the chance, of course, to move three points clear of them. Bolton, they need a win to climb out of the relegation places they're currently in the Premier League since the defeat at the Reebok Stadium against Bolton back in November. And he didn't have the best of days either in that game. PK feeds it in to Ronaldo, playing in a genuinely wide role tonight. The ball giving it away under no pressure whatsoever. That you don't want to do. And you don't want this fella on the edge of your box either. This time Ronaldo couldn't forget a teammate. Ronaldo. A lot of white shirts between him and the Bolton goal and he's given it away. United's first corner, eight minutes gone. Ronaldo got his head to it and it comes back to him. Oh, what a finish! And he now moves alongside. The great George Best in United's Hall of Fame. And what a difference it makes to get the breakthrough through early. It somehow found its way past everyone. I think he'd rather hits this into the ground. It's not what you would call the sweetest Cristiano Ronaldo strike. But he gets involved with the header and they don't get rid of it. And he just hits it into the ground. You watch where it ends up here. It's just, he probably hits it straight, can't get this in. Look at the bodies. But into the ground it goes. And it bounces past Al Habzi and into the net. It's a perfect start for Alec Ferguson's side. Thirty-two goals in thirty-seven games. With a winning goal at Derby, the opening goal tonight as captain. Two players on the pitch that have scored the goal in the Premier League, and you go one down in nine minutes. And the main man's at it again. He actually wins this header. Up he goes well, keeps the ball in. Tevez does all right here, but it's a scruffy goal, but he doesn't care. As I've said, if he, if he probably hits that sweetly, he probably hits someone. But he hits it into the ground, and the bounce takes it past Al Habzi. He scored 44 in the season. Yeah, how many in the league, though? So you have tested it by all. That's a good ball in, and it had uh, Kuschak in a moment's uh, concern. And look at the pace of Ronaldo there. And 
Vidic tries to open up the play with a sweeping ball out to Ronaldo. It's just a distance of the pass that gave Gardner the chance to get there. United can go into, even this early, can go into cruise control. Costa perhaps lined up for the Liverpool game here on Sunday, who knows? I think Ronaldo might get a shirt. <laughs> Tevez let it run. Steinson was great. Fletcher. Ronaldo brought down by Mete, and he might well fancy. It's right where he likes him. Far enough outside the area to get the power. Yeah, can't argue with that one. Well, I'll have see his first job almost here at Old Trafford on his first appearance at what he has to do now. Ronaldo backs away. Usually requires an early sighter before he hits the target. Let's see. Didn't this time? Magnificent! Is there any end to this boy's talents? And now he's gone ahead of George Best. Well, when he gets them right, he gets them right. And they're just about unstoppable. And the ball's just doing all sorts. Up and over again, and look at it move and dip and bend. Just watch the ball here, look at that. It's just incredible, the trajectory he gets on the ball. Well, he's certainly building up a collection of these, isn't he? Just amazing. So deliberate, knows what he's, everyone knows what he's going to do. He's going to smash the back of this ball in a unique way, the way he gets it up and, and down at such pace. Seen that a few times, isn't he? He'll be running down the right touch line. Now Fletcher finds it. Oh, lovely little flick. League starts, 24 Premier League goals. So, I do think even the great George would have loved to have watched this kid play at this kind of level. That was evident. Ronaldo there again for Manchester United and fouled again. Referee this time waves play on. Oh, and, uh, Guthrie and Taylor were both there, but he split them with that ball right in between them. And off he goes again, Ronaldo. Gardner just that little bit quicker than Gardner. Fletcher forward to Ronaldo. Was a buzz of anticipation around this great arena, and the ball is at Ronaldo's feet. Here's O'Shea. Oh, great return ball again. Here's Tevez pulled across the box for Sahar. Nixon's team only had 25 points last season. Sheffield United went down with 30. Looked as though Davis was fouled there, but Mr. Wiley not interested. Fletcher, Ronaldo finding space in the centre. Sahar gets it back to him, but he was then fouled. And then they've had the committee meeting. Is it going to take it on, do you think? Well, in the hot streak no. he's in at the moment. <laughs> no. Even too far for the Martin United, one away from being out of sight, I guess. Yep. O'Shea. Well, dare I say a slightly weakened side. I've got gears to go to if they need them. And the likes of Rooney and Scholes on. Thatcher drives it back in. Great heroic block by Steinson. And still United threaten. And here's Ronaldo. Oh, brilliantly done for O'Shea. That's what I mean. The gears are there if they want them united at any time, you feel. This was pretty desperate defending at times, and this just the end of that. Two or three chances. Another little bit of skill from Ronaldo there. 
John O'Shea. Well, is there a finer player in world football at this moment than Cristiano Ronaldo? If it is, I'd love to see him. Kaká and the rest will have a claim to that title. But this is a player in supreme form, and his goals after nine and twenty minutes. Eight there he is. different occasions already this season, he scored two. And looking for that hat trick. If you're Bolton, just very quickly, if you're Bolton now, what, what on earth do you do about this? Well, yeah. I see Nicky Hunt. I don't know if he's coming on down below. Is Nicky Hunt? Looks like there's going to be a substitute now. Yeah, Nicky Hunt, who uh, has lost his place. In They've won only one away game all season, Bolton. 2-0 at Reading last month. Ten defeats out of 14. And they're going to have to defend the free kick without him. Well, I was going to say something stupid and say this is probably where it's more difficult when you adopt uh, the way he does, when he smashes the ball to get it up and down so quickly. I just wondered whether Hargreaves would have a little look at this. I think he did. Where was it? Fulham recently? When Hargreaves just bent one in from this kind of art area, but it looks like the main man's looking for his hat trick. Oh, oh well, well, almost good. catching the goalkeeper by surprise. There's Tevez, and he finds Ronaldo, who in turn flicks it through to Hargreaves. Guthrie trying to lay it down the line to Taylor. Ronaldo dispossessed for once. Davis, Taylor, here's Gardner. That's a good ball, Gardner. Fletcher on to Ronaldo. Oh, what a lovely ball and a good interception by Hunt. O'Brien looking for Juf. Easy for Vidic, though. So I wonder if that's another bit of blood around, is it? And Vidic. Away by Steinson. Back in from Nani. Ronaldo. United still down to 10, incidentally. But I always think it's the Premier League and it doesn't care what matter whether you're you know, at the bottom of it. If someone invites you back into a game, then you know you normally take it. And Bolton have done all right second half. And Thomas Kuzak's had to make a couple of pretty good saves. It's Juve. Totally outnumbered this time. Fletcher for United finds Ronaldo. Can he spark United and Old Trafford back to life? He very nearly did. Well, the answer is yes. <laughs> Ronaldo. And off he goes again on another of those weaving runs. Tevez leaves it to Sahar. This is a good chance. They work it well. They get plenty of players forward here. Could have kept the ball going to Nani, but he didn't. Decided to turn in on his own. Nowhere near the goal. This is the one earlier, though. This is more like it. Invite the shot? I wouldn't. That's a pretty good save, you know, by Al Habsi. Because this is a great strike, and it's dipping as it goes down there. And that's a very good and very strong right uh, To be replaced by Wayne Rooney. Hunt looking for Steinson. And the header almost dropped cunningly, and has for Guthrie, but... Uh, Miss that first player. And off goes Cristiano Ronaldo again. That's a good ball. Rooney has Fletcher moving into the space. Back to Ronaldo. On to Nani. Tevez awaits the cross. Tevez. And on to Ronaldo. Nicked away from him by McCann. Hunt keeps it in play for Bolton. I would guess that I can't remember too many times the, the big four, as we call them, have been this close together going into their last eight games. Here's Ronaldo. Oh, well, the luckily came back to Nani and uh, Tevez takes it off him. Now, we're down to ten men for about five minutes or so, maybe a little more. And they had a little bit of pressure, Bolton, and just for a second they looked like they might get something. And that's just frittered away. United back in control of the game. And can they get the third goal that would kill it off completely? Here's Rooney. Ronaldo. 
Mm, did his best to keep it in play, but he's given it to Guthrie. Movement in the second half. That they really could get back into this game. Tevez, Rooney, Ronaldo. Going for the hat-trick. And it's come to Nani. Good he should have done better with Ronaldo's free kick, but since then, he's had to make one or two pretty good saves. Because he feeds that big. Ronaldo injured, and of course Manchester United have used all their substitutes. It's a bit of a surprise, I guess, that he's still out there at this stage, but the uh, changes didn't involve him. Well, it gets away from him, the ball. Yeah, he gets caught, but there's nothing wrong with that tackle from Nicky Hunt. And that's always a danger, that's why I wonder, that's why I posed the question with the said, Alex, keep him on. And Kuszczak, not very convincing. This fella might be now, though. Nani. Rooney making ground down the left. Oh, oh I and team. And Rooney wins that head, and watch where you see him next. Plays him in here, and then Ronaldo comes comes towards him, and a look at the gap, Rooney, just roll him in. Nice, simple, easy, tidy ball. Roll him in, he's your teammate. Threading it through for Davis, but uh, Brown nicked it away, and now O'Shea. Ronaldo sets off with that uh, burst of speed, and keeps going, but Tevez, best place to score. It's been given against Matty Taylor for pushing. Ronaldo finds Rooney, who returns the favour. Hargreaves, Juve. Hunt was trying to sneak in behind O'Shea. Manchester United to retain their title. Eight games left for Bolton Wanderers to escape the threat of relegation. If you like, from Cristiano Ronaldo. Two of them taking his total for the season to 33. Remarkably, in all competitions, outdoing even the great George Best from 40 years ago. Manchester United open up a three. Two more for Ronaldo tonight. His 23rd and 24th Premier League goals of the season. Now put that into context for us. It's absolutely phenomenal because he's not a centre forward. We're not talking about Ruud van Nistelrooy. This is why he's got him, though, Richard. These sort of goals, and that's the difference between, say, if you look at Cesc Fabregas, who earlier in the season was smashing goals in from 25 mm -hmm. yards on regular occasions. They don't keep coming. They come at you. Can get them in batches of twos and threes on the, on the game. But once you run out of those those ones that are going to the top corner, you need to get those goals. The likes, sort of the, the 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 bitty goals, the ugly goals, as you like. And that's what Ronaldo does. He can sniff out the goal that a, a Ruud van Nistelrooy can have. That a, someone that is, is an out and out goal scorer, and he can also score free kicks that are just another level, Ray. Can't yeah, he? Yeah, he can. This is just absolutely unbelievable. The movement on the ball is, is just incredible. His technique is his technique and he, he alone has this technique but you can see it there from behind the guy it moves several ways never mind bend it like Beckham is he better than Beckham in those situations it's a totally different technique but he does hit the target now consistently well I'd say there's only Janino from Lyon that probably hits a target as much as he does uh, but he is a phenomenon this young man because you don't really want him to take because he's such a threat in the box and I think Sir Alex Ferguson knows that that he, like last year, he might have been taking free kicks and corners. Now it's the mm. other way around. He wants him in the box. He wants him being almost a poacher because he knows he can do all the sort of goals. We had the repertoire tonight. We had all the tricks. Look at this little touch here. Look, bang, bang. There you go. Set that one up for John O'Shea. He's just got a lovely... He's just playing with so much confidence. And, and I said it before, athletes... And I think you can put him alongside, at the moment, the likes of the Tiger Woods of this world. So, someone that, has, uh, is, that, that come from almost a di different special. stratosphere. Special, special athlete that can do things at a pace that no one else can, that can, that can score top goals as the lot. You know, it, it must be our being Cristiano Ronaldo, Ray, mustn't it? Yeah, it must be, with all that ability. <laughs> yeah. He really does look as if he's struggling. But also, he's as fit as a fiddle as well. He, he works so hard for the team now. He's, he's got another... You know, he did have one or two critics when he first came into the team, but having played against him, mm. you <laughs> certainly weren't one of them, were you? I, I wasn't. And I'm, I, I, I just remember playing against him. I've said it, I've, I'm, 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 I've said it countless mm. times on, on, on the show before, and I'll never forget that we played against him for Spurs, and he was different class in the day. He, he completely tore us apart. 
and I remember just talking to Sir Alex Ferguson and, and about him, and and he said he'll be the best player in the world in a few years, and I just I, I, and I could actually agree with him at, at the time. I thought you could see the potential he had because he was such a he's such a physical presence as well, and you, you, it's very difficult sometimes when you see him on the TV to to appreciate how big he is, how yeah, strong he is, and how tall he is, and and then add add to that pace feet that are so like you've got dancing feet and he hits the ball with left and right feet and and also the the confidence mm. he's 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 a, he's a phenomenal athlete as i keep saying and and for me you know at the moment the best player in the world i felt last year kaka was was number 1 messi has, has struggled with injuries and i and i think that ronaldo is proving now that he has gone up to that next level and is showing that he is the best player in the world at the moment. He'd be good when he matures, wouldn't he? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. What is he, 23 now? <laughs> My word, he's got a few years ahead of him, hasn't he? And his best football still to come. And loves it as well. Right, like Ray said, absolutely like, wants to play in every game, every minute of every single football match that he can. Mm. And that is, that's exactly what you want, you know. Just wish he was English. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got, I think he's got to the alone. stage now, Richard, where even if, if the, he went to an away ground, and the, the team was read out, even the opponent's supporters would be disappointed. Mm. I think because you'd want to see him play, because he's that special. Right. Tell you what, when you think about it, it's important, interesting you said that. A few years ago, there it was, it was large sections of the media wanting to drive him out of this country when, because we blamed him for our, our deficiencies as, as an England national team when he, we got Rooney sent off and we said it was Ronaldo's fault. <laughs> you know, and that, I mean, that's typical. We wanted him out of the country. And I tell you what, how much... How, how much worse would our league be without him? He is just—he just lights up every every single week, and you know you can't knock the guy.